Hey everyone, and welcome to another custom challenge run in the Binding of Isaac. Today is another Infinite D6 run, and basically the way uh, Infinite D6 is working is um, I'm just doing them whenever I feel lazy, like, and uh, just released a um, normal vanilla run, and that seems to coincide with uh, about once a week, so um, they're not guaranteed, but hey, they happen about about even intervals. So today, we have a run suggested by Bill Griggs, I believe. Allow me to pull that up just a second. As I scroll up, it was indeed Bill Griggs. And uh, this time, the goal is to become as cute as possible. So this, as far as I can tell, is going to mean that I only get like three items. <laughs> but we shall see what happens. A lot of items aren't gonna make a difference but I will have to keep in mind things like tear effects none of them make me cute at all um, I don't believe health ups change my look really so I will take a few of those probably like almost exclusively those once I've made it through those like three items that actually make me cuter Fortunately, one of those items is Max's head. Max's head makes you adorable with your giant eyes. It's just a... <laughs> and... yeah. I... Uh, I have to take Pageant Boy, pretty much, because it's, like, the only thing. And what else will help me? I can't think of anything. Pretty much won't take any familiars. Um, I can't think of any damage up besides Max's head that's totally cool. I'll wait on health ups, I'll do them later. Uh, the super bandage... actually, yeah, kinda. Look at me, I got this flower and band-aid on my head, I'm adorable. That gave me one red heart and two soul hearts. Uh, so yeah, that that's good. That works for me. I, I hope it'll work for you guys. But not too many other things will work for me. I think my only damage up will be Max's head. Probably. Don't need you, don't need you, or you. The miter doesn't really make me cute. Neither does holy water. I'm gonna touch this because of the bombs that I get for it. Just plus five. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Much as I'd love to take it, that definitely makes me kind of gross. None of these things are helping me. Bobby bomb, no. No. Oh man, this is just... This is going to be painful. Oh gosh. That definitely makes me gross. Technology 2 does not make me cute. Alright, I suppose that you could go with this because it makes me smaller, so I'm cuter. Some people would subscribe to that belief. And in some cases it's true, if something is just really small it's adorable. So that gave us speed and range, which is totally worthless to me. By the by. And uh, I guess we'll continue on through this floor for no good reason, really. I don't think there's anything that I could possibly take from the Devil or Angel room that would help me on my quest to become the cutest thing in the land, but I could totally be wrong. Um, I mean, Scapular gives me a nice yellow glow. Um, gee, no, I can't think of anything. But then again, that's because I haven't seen them all, and I I don't just have all of the items in the game memorized without sight. But I'd, if you told me them, I would be able to tell you probably what pools they're in. Alright, Cellar 2, see how things are going. I, I mean, <laughs> Max's head needs to come as soon as possible. I don't know how many aesthetics will, like team up with each other to make me adorable in one giant beautiful picture of cuteness, but considering how few items I'm likely to end up taking that have an aesthetic effect, I I hope they'll all stack. I assume so as well. Thanks for the free secret room, that's totally cool. Oh my god, Mulligoon, quit trolling me. Uh... So I spent today car shopping for the most part. I need to, wow, what are the odds? 
Uh, I don't really want that. But I'll take it anyway. That gives me a random mushroom effect every room. Or sometimes the compass. Yeah. So this could help me out a lot. Or it could help me out not at all. Got lots of money in there. Let's see what's in here. Dr. Fetus. That's pretty uncommon. Does not make me cute. I can say that. Uh, Lucky Foot doesn't really have an impact. Definitely not Mr. Mega. Uh, that would shrink the size of my head, which I think makes me kind of weird looking, honestly. So I'm going to not take it. No, no, definitely not. Uh, Chad is kind of a cute companion, so I, I guess I could have seen that one happening. But no. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And some of you may have slightly differing opinions than me, but... Nah. Guardian Angel, kind of a cute companion as well. Polyphemus definitely does not make me cute. That makes my head bigger, which I also don't think is helpful. No. Hmm. God, this is... This is going to be something else. Flies probably don't help me. Having one less eye, also not too helpful. Why don't we just keep rerolling forever? Basically, we're going to find Max's head and then be on our way. Uh, nope, lard doesn't help me. Nothing is helping. Ugh. Skeleton key. Things I can't take. Uh, the wafer gives me a sweet blue glow. I don't know if you think that's cute. Uh, I'm going to chew some gum. Sorry about this. My I'm smell my own breath and it's gross. Guess I did just eat. So, Wafer is an interesting choice. It doesn't give an aesthetic except the blue glow. Which means it's kind of a possibility. Nah, it'd make the run too easy, comparatively. We're re-rolling a lot of good items. Oh, Speedball. I think Speedball might... I think it makes our eyes really wide. Um, we're gonna take a chance. Yes! Speedball makes us so adorable. I was trying to think if I was remembering right, because it just it was unsure. But no, we're we're now adorable. We got speed and shot speed up. Uh it, it's funny that this is maybe the first time I've seen Speedball since not finding it for the let's play. Which is interesting. Uh, we're, we're really fast. I just want to make sure that's kind of apparent. Like, too fast. Hopefully this is speed down. Tears down? That's like the worst thing I could have gotten. Pretty literally the worst pill I could have gotten there. We've gotten an extra health slot. I guess we got the large odd mushroom. Our tears seem maybe bigger, I guess. Couldn't tell you for sure. What we got? Alright. Wait, did that heart just disappear? Because didn't we totally have it? Weird. I'm probably going to pick up Pageant Boy for this fight. Oh man, we got the freaking um, thin odd mushroom. Which made us even faster, but gave us very high fire rate. With the increased shot speed, this um means that we've got a lot of knockback. And uh, anyway, did I, I was talking about how I spent the day car shopping. Didn't find one yet, but I am gonna finally get a cheap used car, but a car nonetheless. That'll be fun. I still hate driving though. Whatever, man. Alright, come on, Pooter, you're dead. Alright. We couldn't take the small rock because it wouldn't make us cuter, but it'd be another thing to reroll. I like health, but it doesn't really help for the uh, goal meat definitely doesn't help either much as I'd love it uh, none of these well a box is kinda cute but there, there's pageant boy look at us I'll just check on in here oh I miss having the fire rate already let's just start re-rolling 
Can't really take any of these because they all make me atrocious. Quarter doesn't, but it really doesn't matter to me. Guppy's tail, mom's knife. Yeah, I don't think a baby with a knife is too cute. Personal thought. Uh, no, none of Spelunker hat might count. Depends on your definition. Sad onion. I think that makes us cry harder is the problem. I want the fire rate. No, it totally, yeah, it makes us cry hard, but it's kind of cute. Yeah, yeah, I mean, come on, what's not kind of a little bit endearing about a baby that's like really cute and unhappy about it? <laughs> or really unhappy about being looked at for being so cute because he's got this crown and everything. And I need all the fire rate I can get. Oh! Alright, this isn't helping enough. Our damage is just too bad. We need Max's head, like, right now. By the way, you noticed the compass effect. Yeah, okay, we're fast enough to actually get away from that for once. Good, good. Alright, uh, this way does seem to be the correct way. I did base my direction decision on that compass effect. Totally didn't really realize we had the compass, but, you, you know. Uh, yeah, this way. And, geez, we're fighting difficult enemies with not enough health or damage, really. Health is kind of lowering... Oh, no. I guess I shouldn't jinx myself by saying these things. No? Okay, I was close. No, no, stay away. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Little Steve, no. 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 Nope. $3 bill. I mean, it makes us twinkle uh, when we shoot, but I don't think it has any other aesthetic to it. I don't think that helps me enough with my goal. Uh, it gives us an eye in the back of our head. That's... Uh, there it is. All right, Max's head multiplies our damage by 1.5. And now we have giant eyes again. And this is more uh, what we look like with Speedball, except we're not, like, really happy about it. <laughs> Two compass effects in a row, that's pretty rare. Um, Max's head may increase our rate of fire as well, but I don't think so. I think that was just... I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I think that the high rate of fire was definitely just the thin odd mushroom. But uh, we, we seem to be shooting a little faster. Or maybe just with bigger tiers it looks like we're shooting faster. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Stop, you're making all the lag happen. The game shouldn't do things that it can't handle. I don't know what mushroom we have this room. I really don't. We can't really take the cube of meat. I don't think it's cute if you have meat rotating around you. So I guess we're just going to get out of here. Look for the item room. Uh, at this point, we're pretty much just going to end up taking health ups. Like exclusively neutral aesthetic health ups which well at least we'll have some survivability I guess but I've already rerolled all of them at least once I think we have the thin odd mushroom again so Liberty cap is doing a fair a fair share for us I guess all right tears down doesn't appeal to me Let's see what you are bad gas that didn't really help either I don't know, I mean, I'm going to reroll through the item room pool, I guess. And hopefully not freeze the game. But, other than that, I don't know what we're after. Unfortunately, we get the Fallen, which will give us a deal with the Devil Room item. I guess we'll see if it's tied to what's still in the Devil Room pool, though. Since I already rerolled all the way out of that. So, that's a thing. That'll, um, yeah. By the way, if we freeze the game or die in this, I'll do a another infinite D6 run that's been suggested a couple times by, I'm not sure because I wasn't planning on doing it, where I only take damage ups. Or I take, on, like, I take all the damage ups, but I'm only going to take damage ups. 
if this run ends too prematurely or in freezing early enough, that doesn't really help me. See, I don't think it does anything. And I can't think of anything else that'll help me. Why don't we take it? Yeah, that didn't do anything but give me more health. So that's good. I think that's what we're down to, though. Just taking health ups. Let's find the item room, see what we can do there. This could be where the game freezes, though. And what are we? We're 15 and a half minutes in. I, I mean, I guess this is going to be okay. Tight maneuvering, thanks to all of my mad speed. Which I'm not going to say is good or bad. I don't know what the Mulligan's aesthetic is. If it has one. So I'm not going to take it because I'm not sure. Number one. It does make us happy. Oh, but it totally changed our adorable giant eyes. I guess I should have known that. But, you know, I guess a baby that's peeing on everything is kind of cute in that as long as you're not the one cleaning it up. I don't know. I don't really think babies are cute in general, so, um, yeah. I don't really have the health to play on that. Oh, no. So now we pretty much have the too much knockback run I did the other day. Oh, my God. Except I don't have enough range for this to work out. Though I do have high shot speed as well as um, Max's head for damage and knockback. Why don't I just be almost dead? Necropolis is really not a friendly place. Any one hit will kill me in this room. Oh, oh, oh that was so far away from me. Anyway, that was a cuteness run. This time we're going to do damage ups all day run. It's not a damage up. Nor is that. Oh, God. I'm not going to count familiars. I guess the only health up I'm going to end up with... Wow, Max's head was pretty quick this time. Multiplies our damage by 1.5. Anyway, our familiars are going to um, not exist. Oh, our, our health up is uh, there's only one... Okay, let's see. We get damage up from stigmata and meat. So those are our only two health ups, probably, that I can think of. As well as um, any all stats up, of which there are three. So that'll be about that. We don't even have to use a bomb for this tinted rock, and as it turns out, we didn't even want to. Since we couldn't open that if we did want to. Which we might. Having Max's head is really nice, because uh, we just destroy the flies that Duke of Flies spawns. Meaning we have no problem killing it very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't know what you were getting yourself into. Okay. So we're going to reroll for meat, basically. Or the pentagram. But I don't know how soon we're going to see it. Super bandage. I, I honestly never see that item, and we've seen it twice this video. Of course, because we are rerolling everything. But still. Oh, Jesus juice. Okay. That is a damage up. Multiplies our damage by 1.5. Or it adds 0.5. We can't be sure. It's listed the same as the items that multiply your damage by 1.5 in the mechanics guide. And uh, that kind of ambiguity is not good, but I, I'm just going to take it to mean that they're the same. Our tears may look bigger. Tell me. Same thing with Magic Mushroom. It's listed the same. And I'm pretty sure it says explicitly elsewhere in the mechanics guide that it does multiply your damage by 1.5. But it doesn't mention Jesus Juice, so, I mean, really, I'm just... I'm fraught with confusion. I'm pretty sure I've noticed very noticeable things. I've noticed noticeable things. That, that puts me on the uh, level of average, I guess. But I've noticed um, noticeable things when picking up Jesus Juice at high damage. So I feel like it should be a multiplier. But the world may never know. Yeah. So this time in the item room, I don't know what we're looking for. Same thing with the boss room. I don't know what we're looking for. We're looking for what we can get. Nope. Whatever. The Empress increases our damage and our speed. I'm probably not going to take Whore of Babylon, which is what the, em excuse me, what the Empress is, pretty much. 
Unless I somehow find myself at only soul hearts. Well, which I guess is a possibility considering deals with the devil are a very great source of damage. Quit being a jerk, Wrath. Stop throwing your bombs at me. I know that's what you do. Alright, whatever. Didn't get an item from him, so that's no reroll there. Uh, I was kind of expecting that this was the end of the line and there would be the item room to the bottom and the boss to the right, but I was mistaken. It's probably what's going to happen on the next one. We're going to get the item room and the boss room to two sides. And that's exactly what I was expecting on the last. <laughs> so there you go. The last room. Yeah. We do have enough keys to go to this item room and make beautiful, beautiful things happen. So let us. Lucky foot, no. No. We're gonna probably... Well, one thing we could end up with is growth hormones. We could end up with stigmata. We could end up with a halo. That's all stats up, which includes damage. So we've now hit red tiers, which in this case is indicative rather than aesthetic. As, I mean, it's aesthetic as well, but it's indicative of our damage being high enough. Because there are a few items that just make it happen aesthetically regardless of your damage, but in other cases it is uh, damage based. So uh, we don't need any of these. There's meat, which does increase our damage, as well as our tears, shot speed, and health. So we've gotten two health ups so far. We're not doing too bad. And next, I guess we're hoping for magic mushroom. Come on. Or, I mean, I guess a lot of things. I don't necessarily want the speed that we'll get from magic mushroom or growth hormones, but uh, not growth hormones. Um, Yeah, growth hormones. But I'll take it. Because, you know, the goal is getting all these damage ups. I don't know if this counts things like Mom's Knife and Brimstone, because technically they are damage ups. But I, I, I'm going to say no, because I think the idea is to get powerful tears. But I could be wrong. Sting Mana, that's health up and damage up. Man, we look real happy. Didn't even realize this was an XL floor. But I am just going to find the second item room, find the bosses, be on my way. Good thing we got that key, that saves us time. Man, I need to not miss these things. These things being these shots, not them. They're called hosts. I know this. They are called hosts, right? Yeah, th those are hosts. Yes. <laughs> I don't call anything else hosts as far as I know, so... That's gotta be right. Alright, may as well fight the bosses. Uh, we're gonna get Pentagram as one of the... I've never seen a blue one, have I? That was weird. Um, bad trip, that's unfortunate. You missed and I was standing still, you fool. So I'm recording this as Doctor Who airs, simply because I had to miss part of it, so I'm just going to watch the whole thing later. Almost dodged into that shot. Uh, but anyway, that's unfortunate, but I will um, tell you my thoughts on Doctor Who later. As of late, it has been on an upswing. It's been getting better and more interesting. So I'm going to expect that that's how I'm still going to feel after this episode. All right, we got the pentagram straight up. One damage up. Some nice horns. It's funny that the first run we looked really cute, and then this run we look like this. <laughs> Unfortunately, all of the cute aesthetics didn't stack as I had hoped initially. But I guess you can't win them all. Uh, it's fortunate that some of these um, damage-increasing items for us have given us health in order to trade with the devil for more damage. We'll be looking at the Pact and the Mark, and that's probably it, honestly. Oh good, we've gotten Undefined, and I can't reroll it. Yeah, okay. Well, it doesn't freeze the game or anything, unless I pick it up. If I pick it up, the game will freeze. Well, it won't freeze, but I'll be holding Undefined above my head, and I'll never stop. So that would be the end of the run, even though the game didn't freeze, freeze. So it, it yeah. I don't know if we can pause, though. So it might be a freeze, technically, if we can't pause. Unless you can't pause, like, as you pick up an item. Basically, I can't define whether or not it's a freeze, okay? We've determined we've determined it now, and that's that. 
small rock is damaging tears and stuff. Uh, so hopefully we don't get too many more undefines, but I'd rather get undefined than um, the game freezing. So I, I guess if I, if I can't get items, I'd rather have undefined than the uh, run just ending. You guys, uh, I hope you're enjoying this two-for-one special on Infinite D6 runs. We're still hunting down the second item room, by the way. We, I was going to say we probably two-shot these guys, and indeed we do. Today is a Ratchet and Clank day, as is tomorrow. Though I don't know if Paranautical Activity will be on schedule or not, because I don't know when the update's coming out, and I'm not uploading another one, another video until the update. Simply just to keep the game fresher. Because I'm not getting tired of it, I wouldn't say that. But, you know, I'm winning pretty much every time, uh, all that good stuff. I think it's just more interesting if I wait until the update. Well, my skills and enthusiasm are fresh. Uh, I guess I have to go off of one of these rooms that I skipped. And I'm expecting it's the one down there. So that's going to be the first stop for that second item room, I guess. Could be. Looks right. Still looks right. Um, gonna pop this tinted rock just for the soul hearts. Hopeful soul hearts. Oh, well. Never mind me. I'm just, you know, hoping for the best. Hoping for the norm, even. One soul heart. But no, you gotta give me a golden chest. Fine, I'll open it. That wasn't worth it. We got two full hearts from it, basically. This looks like it leads to an item room. Okay, there we go. There we go. Sorry, I just had to have a silent burp to myself. Okay. Charm of Vampire, nope. Mutant Spider, not technically a damage up. Nor is the Shears, no, 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 no. That would be a damage up, but I don't really want it. Definitely a damage down. Um, yeah, Bloody Lust, technically a damage up, I guess, but don't want it. Uh, we're, we're pretty much hoping on Magic Mushroom, I guess. And we're not getting it. Something else could pop up ahead of it. Growth Hormones, as I was saying. But those are pretty much the only two I can think of that aren't in the Devil Room pool. And we haven't been getting Devil Rooms, which is interesting, to say the least. Polyphemus. Yeah, I guess that's a damage up. It's also a tear effect, but it's definitely a damage up. So I'll allow it. I look really weird. Thanks to freaking Jesus juice as well as a small rock and meat. Everything just adds up to this beautiful picture we see in front of us. Unfortunately, I can't get my fire rate up too high now. So sucks that I'm not taking like mom's knife and brimstone. But at least I'll be able to get the pact and the mark both at once. For lots of damage all at the same time. That's not quite it. We still need the magic mushroom and growth hormones, but then that that might be it. If we're not counting things like Mom's Knife. It's funny that the, the tier after it destroys these things is as big as a normal polyphemus shot. Our damage is that good. Uh, there we go. I don't really care about this money, but I'm going to get it. Risk taker. And this is a normal sized floor as opposed to an XL floor. So we're not going to have too bad of a time. That is finding the item room in the boss. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's not the right way. Oh, God. What are you doing? You're killing me. That's not what I want you to do. There we go. That was smart of you. I really admire that. When you just walk into a fire three times of, of your own volition. It's something that I aim to emulate one day. Not really. In case anyone was worried. Uh, yeah, the... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, geez. Too much power. And there's only more to come with a 1.5 times damage multiplier from the magic mushroom. 
And we didn't actually kill that through the other thing. I don't know why we're suddenly getting more chests, because we didn't get a luck up or Guppy's tail or anything. No. Oh, that's a damage up. All right, then. It's also a health up. So it seems there are a bunch more of those than I was giving credit for. We've already gotten four. We're, let's see, we might not be able to get all of them. Because we're, well, okay, if we get more deals with the devil, we will. Because even if we run out of item rooms, the deals with the devil will turn to item room items. It's interesting that the boss room pool, like, refuses to take from the uh, item room pool, though. Yeah, sure, rusted key will give us more key drops. Uh, although I could be wrong about the boss room pool. Oh my god, you didn't die from that? Seems that the head is uh, stronger than its constituent sections. Yeah, it is, because those get one-shotted. Okay, yeah, I guess I shouldn't be able to destroy that poop, because it is floating. And I guess floating poop is kind of invincible, since it's not supposed to be something that happens. Anyway, I could go to the shop, but I'm not gonna. Still not gonna, because I can't get any damage ups in there until I reroll everything out of the item pool. I will get those two keys, though. What is this? Balls of steel. Two soul hearts. That's good. So let's get these keys. Keys, please. Alright, then. Four keys means it's kind of worth to go to the shop, but I still would just have to clear out the pool. I didn't expect that the boss was the way it is. I don't really want the missing page. It's pretty bad. Sorry, spit out my gum there. You know, my breath is nice and freshened now, so uh, all, all is well. I don't need it anymore. It was just taking up space because I couldn't really chew it. Gotta destroy all this fire now. I do look forward to the uh, tears up from both the um, Magic Mushroom SMB Superfan as well as... Oh, what's that other thing called? The Pact. Of course. All of those will give me tears up. Uh, I might hit the max for Polyphemus relatively quickly since it's not like a high max. It's just kind of fast as you can fire. Range down, that kind of sucks. But my range is still good enough. See how far it fires. Yeah, that's more than good enough, for real. Finally finding the boss. Oh, God. Good. That's all I wanted from you, really. All I wanted was to destroy the Faceless Knight with that bomb. I succeeded. Alright, let's see what we get from uh, this. It's a horseman. We'll get a cube of meat. That's a fact. Can't reroll that. Uh, and I won't take it because it's not a damage up. I'm taking this run very seriously. We have no knockback, apparently. Practically. Alright, gotta deal with a devil. We could take the lump of coal. Will we? It is a damage up. But I'm not going to take it now. I'll take the pact, because it's the tears up. Now the reason I didn't take it is because it would make our tears smaller, which is no fun. But you see now we're firing more quickly, which is uh, awesome. Necropolis as opposed to the depths. That sucks. Stop spawning things. Don't do that. It's not what I pay you for. Oh well, we found the secret room money. Well, we still haven't found money equals power, and that's that's a thing. So I guess there are more damage ups than I'm giving credit for. You thought you were hot stuff, but you, you weren't. You ain't. Alright, let's see what we can get from this beggar. I saved your life at the cost of one of my valuable, valuable soul hearts. The pack did give us two soul hearts, by the way. Two of spades doubles our keys, that's awesome. Hurry up, though. Health, nope. Dodge attacks, also no. Book of Belial is a damage up. Quarter could be a damage up if we had money equals power. Peeper is a damage up, actually. But I... Kind of opposed to it in this run. There's our magic mushroom, all stats up. 1.5 times damage multiplier. Tears up is nice. Darn you. All right. We'll be on our way to find the item room where we're running out of them damage ups. We don't one shot hearts. That's a good touch. I'm actually really surprised about that. Hearts are pretty. pretty hardy. Ha! <laughs> uh, 
I'm so funny. We just get a normal chest from that. Why are we getting so many chests? We don't know this pill. I thought we knew this pill. Well, it's health up. Awesome. It's funny that on a run about damage ups, we end up nearing max health. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have expected it. God, stupid. I'm doing this so that we blow up... Oh, well. That was a failure. Aha! I outsmarted you, game. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Hearts are too smart at dan bleh, bleh, dodging. I'm too bad at speaking. Um, jeez. Every time I think I've thought of all the damage ups, I haven't. So I'm not even gonna say. Oh, there are like four left. That was a great shot, terrible dodge. So I mean, yeah, I think there are only like three left, but there are probably like six. Or more, knowing me and my guessing ability. But that, that's like I was saying. I don't have them all memorized just thought-wise. I don't have them all on recall. I have them on recognition. And if you take the time to memorize every single item, all 198, that's crazy. Probably. Alright. Take our Empress card back. I think that the blue baby... Oh, God, this isn't the... Got the item room as well. I wanted the item room. That's all I wanted. Wow, this actually goes through like three enemies. But it doesn't, so it hit them both at the same time, I guess. Which is the only way it can kill two things at once. This is uh, Necropolis, as in Necropolis 2. So if we go to the boss, we won't be able to leave without a teleport, which I wouldn't really count on. And we might be getting another undefined item there, because the boss room item pool is empty. So, uh, that kind of sucks. Let's see what we can find. I know we can get a damage up from the item room. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get a devil room here. You guys have a little more health than I would expect and hope. Uh, yeah, we won't be able to get a deal with the devil because all the doors will disappear. So, uh, no, no damage ups there. I should go to the curse room, so I guess that's what I'll do. Because that could take me to deal with the devil. It could also just give me a devil item, so it, it's basically a no-brainer, decision-wise. No, no. Sort of, but no. Damage reducer. Wiggle worm, how silly. We haven't seen mom's knife or brimstone. Alright, that's all stats up, except speed, which is decreased. I don't know. I don't know, man. I kind of feel like I shouldn't have taken Polyphemus even, but it's too late. It's very much a damage up. Soul Heart, two blue pills. What's the blue pill? Bad trip. That becomes full health should we get down to one heart, but I'm sticking with the Empress. And now we'll go fight Mom, see what's happening there. And eh, you know what? We'll fight Greed. Yeah, it has to be greed. So, we'll reroll. Okay, no item. But we three shot at him. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, okay. Money equals power. Growth hormones. That was stupid that I took that damage. Money equals power. Growth hormones. The mark. Money equals power. I said that. Money equals power, growth hormone, and the mark. I think that's it. But again, I've been wrong a lot of times. But we've gotten all three stats up. All stats up. We've gotten a bunch of other stuff. And then some other stuff. Alright, this fight should be incredibly easy. Oh, you jerk. Stupid, stupid damage. Stop shooting at me, eyes. This is how this fight's supposed to go. Alright then. Uh, that is another undefined, unfortunately. So we will take the Polaroid and be on our way. When item pools empty in this game, there's just so many things that the game does. It's like, well, if this item pool is uh, this one, the game freezes. If it's this one, we just uh, cycle through all the items. If it's this one, well, you don't even want to know. It's just, it's, it should make up its mind. And in reality, I think that 
Uh, it, it's supposed to refresh all the pools, but that obviously doesn't happen. Let's see what's in here, just in case it's an item. It's not. So let's hope we find the boss right quick. Oh, that was funny that that actually hit it somehow. So that wasn't the boss direction. Maybe this is. Probably not. But it could be. Do we one-shot them? We do one-shot them now. Well, that's exciting. It's nice to know that our damage ups actually do something. And that's not the way I wanted to go. Of course it's not. Right or down? Probably right, but I've been wrong this run many times. Still, let's go with my first instinct, just because I'm the one driving. And that means I'm right. Regardless if I'm right or not. That killed that? I'm really surprised. Like, a lot of things haven't been dying when I expect them to, but then some things die when I don't expect them to. Again, it's nice to have feedback about my damage increases. Oh my god, that sucks. But at least we didn't have to get hit twice. So it was, in fact, down as I expected it wasn't. And as such, told us all, you heard it, that it would be down. Probably. So basically, I, I'm just doing things wrong on purpose. But not really. Hermit would just be a random teleport since there are no longer any shops for it to teleport us to. Which uh, is unfortunate and thus useless. Oh, you die in two hits. That's bad trip. I already know that. Don't really want it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that it's going to be right. It could still be left there, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Because it looks like the map doesn't extend as far as it would need to. Alright, thanks. Uh, oh, God darn it. Do I one-shot them? No. Oh, well, and you guys survive um, a half-shot. What a surprise. At least the, the hollow will be easy. Oh, their heads are stronger, too. How strange. When do we suddenly get all these keys? I don't know where they came from. Alright. Fighting death. So that's going to give us another cube of meat. But, you know, we couldn't have gotten an item from this anyway. It would just be undefined otherwise. Still, it's useless to take this item because, well, that's no, not useless. I'm just not taking it. So that was really bad how much... Oh, my God. My knockback is obviously ridiculous, and in the direction I don't want it to be in. So that sucked, and we didn't get to deal with the devil because of it. Hopefully we'll find the boss real quick here. At least we have a great setup for Isaac and Blue Baby, if we make it, because I'm just like getting myself killed as fast as possible right now. And then walking into the walls. Okay, so Double Gertie Jr. is going to suck no matter what I try to do about it. It didn't suck, and I I guess that's good. Death? Sure. Let's just use that now. Oh, you survived and then hit me. You are the... Oh. I'm real upset about that. Death. Obviously not the paragon of excellent damage and destruction that it claims to be. And yes, I... Paragon. Don't, don't even question. Soul heart good is good. Soul heart good. I like. No, I wanted a half red heart though. More than the soul heart even. Nah. Eh. I don't know if Freds do contact damage, but we might have just found out. God, I'm gonna die. You know what? I can't play like this, obviously. I need to have reasonable damage, but I also need tears. And um I don't know what else. See how this fight goes. This fight will probably be fine. Eh? Ha! You thought you had something. You ain't got squat. Okay, here we go. I am gonna use bombs. Perfect execution. Not perfect execution, but it worked. And that was good. That we didn't get hit. Wasn't necessarily good in general. Alright, half red heart up there, that is perfect. That means we'll get Polaroid invincibility if we get hit a few times. Angel Room won't yield anything for us. Oh, I guess Sacred Heart's the damage up. As is Blood of the Martyr. See, I just forget a bunch of things. 
Alright, let's see what we can get from this. Treasure map. Spoon bit. I guess money equals power will do it. I was hoping for something that would give us health, but I don't know what I could take that gives us health. So, you know, there's that. Money equals power gives us 0.04 damage per cent that we have. And not cent as in smell. Cent as in C-E-N-T. We have 51 of them right now. Oh my goodness. There we go. I don't really care about the key. Nah, careful. Everything does a full heart of damage now, by the way. Has been doing so for a while. We could be going the right way even, but we're, I was about to say probably not. There we go. Our damage is, or not our damage, our knockback is still non-spectacular. But our fire rate isn't so bad, honestly. It could be much, much worse. So, I'm hoping this is the right way. Oh, it's death. Would we have gotten the level 4 Meat Boy? I don't know. Oh, that was close. Okay, you need to die. And I need to not take this damage. Alright, horse is going to be annoying. Especially because it's going to do that. If we die to this horse. Because it keeps... Knocking itself into me. See? It knocked... Whatever. So, uh, only damage ups? Maybe not the best. But then again, maybe it was my play. Who knows? Anyway, please leave your custom challenge run suggestions in the comments, and I will do the ones that I like the most or think would be the most entertaining to watch. Where is this? Alright, there we go. This was two infinite D6 runs. Oops. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.